All right, everybody, what's going on? We got us an exponential equation here to solve. And remember, whenever you have an exponential equation to solve, you want to get the bases the same and then set the exponents equal to each other. Well, sometimes you can't do that. And if that's the case, you'll, you can take the natural log or the log of both sides. Uh, but let's look at this one and see if we can't Let's see if we can't get the bases the same. That's, that's usually the first thing you want to try because that's the easiest way to solve it. So I look at this and I notice on both sides of the equal sign, I do have exponents. My variables are in the exponents. Now this 180, well, we're just going to have to not look at it right now. So what I want to do is, is all the terms that have variables in the exponent, I want to get those on the same side of the equal sign. So I'm going to subtract 36x to, the, to both sides. And so that's going to give me 6 times 6 to the 2x minus 36x equals 180. And then if I, if I look at 36, well, I can write that as 6 squared. You can see that? Write it as 6 squared. So that's going to give me 6 times 6 to the 2x minus 6 squared raised to the x. So I just rewrote the 36 as 6 squared, and then I still got that x on the exponent out there. And that equals 180. Now, looking at this first term here, could I do 6 times 6 to the 2x? Yeah, because I've got like bases. And when I multiply like bases, I add the exponents. That would be what? 1 plus 2x. But let's hold off on that right now. Because when I'm looking at this, I notice that this is 6 to the 2x. This 36 to the x turns turns into 6 to the 2x and that's going to equal 180. Now look here I've got a common factor of 6 to the 2x so let's factor that out so that's going to be 6 to the 2x times 6 minus 1 equals 180 and so that's going to, 6 minus 1 is 5, so that's 5 times 6 to the 2x equals 180. And then how about we divide both sides by 5? And so that's going to give me 6 to the 2x equals, and then 180 divided by 5 is equal to 36. And that worked out nice, didn't it? Look at that. So I've got 6 to the 2x equals, and then 36 can be written as 6 squared. I've got like bases. I'm going to set my exponents equal to each other, divide both sides by 2, and that's going to give me x equals 1. All right, so hope you enjoyed that video. Take a look at my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see y'all later.